Hey everyone, thanks for coming back to the uh, Leadfast YouTube channel. I am uh, talking about these guys today, these uh, Ingersoll 1892 uh, field notes. Um, Ingersoll is a watch company, so uh, and I believe from the UK. Uh, so uh, this is just another, you know, brand collaboration. Um, I bought two packs. I got one sealed here and I opened one earlier. So, um, just check out the belly band here. It's pretty neat. I like when they do picture belly bands. Those are pretty nice. Okay. So first off we can just see there's white staples. Um, it looks like there's a craft book like Yep, it's a craft book with black ink, kind of negative on it. Oh, here we go. All right, uh, this is just a little info about the uh, company itself and a few of the cool things they've done and uh, the signature, I guess, from the founder. So I'll just read it, yeah. Robert H. Ingersoll and his brother Charles founded the Ingersoll Watch Company, one of America's oldest watchmakers in New York City. The Ingersoll brothers were pioneers of industry and invention, establishing many milestones in the field of watchmaking. They devised an ambitious plan to offer affordable Ingersoll watches to the public while maintaining quality and credibility. Each Ingersoll watch was initially produced by hand, but in 1892, Ingersoll developed an automated production line. Featuring f precision components at the very reasonable price of $1, one day's wages, the dollar watch was born. Uh, the company grew further, improving upon its production efficiency and quality with assistance from Henry Ford, eventually selling over $1 million watches. Ingersoll continued with more advances in watch manufacturing, introducing new functions and features such as the smallest existing pocket watch, radio light, the first glow-in-the-dark watch, first ever military watch designed with the involvement of the armed forces, the first character watch commissioned by Disney and featuring Mickey Mouse. That's a classic. Uh, Ingersoll watches have been sold continuously uh, since their inception and to this day are renowned the world over. Ingersoll maintains the ethos of the Ingersoll brothers and is proud to present a new range of quality precision timepieces. So it doesn't really say, I mean, it says like, hey, this is uh, you know America's oldest watchmakers. However, uh, these had to ship from the UK. So I'm wondering uh, why that was the case at all. Um, but uh, it is what it is. It doesn't matter to me. Uh, anyway, we're here to talk about the books. So the books. Um, you get two ruled and one blank. So, um, yeah, so I really could care less about the blank book. I really don't like blank books. I don't know too many people that actually do like the blank books um, because people that like blank books are uh, sketching for the most part. And um, this paper is really not that great for what they would really want to sketch with. So, um, but I like ruled books, so I'm happy to see that. Uh, got the white staples, which is cool. Um, this is just like a classic craft book, really. Um, it even has the regular plain old practical applications uh, in the back. Uh, it does use the 60 pound uh, Finch paper um, and it is uh, the 80 pound uh, French Durotone craft paper that they normally use. So um, the ink application is called Duxin Nose. <laughs> It's always funny what they, the way they name their inks. So, um, yeah, these are just just like a craft book, really. Um, I think the uh, what do they call it, the Challenge SCM double round corner machine has struck again. Um, this uh, this is this is like the worst thing, <laughs> the worst one I've ever seen. I mean, that's just like hanging off real bad there. Uh, there, and then there's like in the inside pieces, there's like chunks out of the paper. You can see that there, but you know, whatever, all good. Um, so, uh, yeah, these are going to get used. Um, so, you know, I've given up caring about whether or not these things are going to be 
in the best shape in the world. So uh, I've already actually started to sell off a lot of my field notes, um, my older collectible ones. I'm keeping one for myself, but uh, there's no sense in hoarding. Um, people are getting into this every day and wanting to find these older editions, and I'm more than happy to make a little bit of cash off of them. Uh, however, not gouging them, but uh, just, you know, trying to let people get what they want. Um, you know, there's so many notebooks out there. There's so many great notebooks out there. Uh, there's no sense for me to just kind of sit with one. So when I order something now, I kind of order two uh, one for, you know, the collection and then one for using. And, uh, that's really going to be about it for me. Uh, I would say that the last edition has really kind of sealed that fact for me. Uh, uh, I just, I looked at it, I reviewed it, I did my writing tests, I did all that stuff and then thought, okay, I'll just put it in the pile to be used the next. And when I looked at that pile, it was huge mile long. So I got a lot more books to use than I have time to use them. Um, and although I am a, uh, certified field nut, I definitely am going to scale back on the amount, uh, because, you know, the, the great, destruction of my collection in 2017 at the beginning of the year uh, when my shelf fell down that definitely uh, put some things into perspective for me so uh, these are cool books really like them um, you know I do like a craft book these will be you know they're going to be just like the craft papers and I'm going to be great for fountain pen they're 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 going to be good for pencil which is which is always a good thing um, and uh, I think these will pair well actually uh with the black wing oh let me find it here i think these will pair well with the black wing 530 what do you guys think i think that looks pretty good so anyway um these are kind of a match here so i'm glad i still have a few more of those um so thanks for watching uh if you like what you see uh please give me a thumbs up um, check out the blog. I will be reviewing this on the blog, uh, shortly. I don't have a, I don't have a review up yet, but I did want to just make a video cause I hadn't made a video in a while and I wanted to get to making a video. So, um, the video is going to come first before the blog, as opposed to them launching at the same time. So, uh, yeah, look for these in the coming weeks. If you, uh, are looking for, uh, some cool pencil reviews, I have been reviewing a ton of Indian pencils on the blog lately. Um, and so those are also up. And then I've been, I just reviewed today at long or it landed, uh, the Palomino Imagine pencil. Now it doesn't look like, but I am spinning it and there's nothing on it. This is a completely unbranded pencil. This is the Palomino Imagine HB. And, uh, I say it's a dead ringer for the Palomino HB. So, um, yeah, uh, anyway, check out that review also. Um, thanks a lot. Please hit the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up and come to the blog. Thanks.